No, no, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, don't look at me. Now look at me. I like it like that. Oh, don't look at me like that. Now look at me like that. Charlie. Oh, turn around. Yep. Slap that. Mm -hmm. mm, I like it like that. I don't like it like that. Hey, you gotta go. Charlie, wake up. Yeah. You're supposed to go ride this morning, bro. Yeah. Chuck. Charlie. Yeah. Chucky. Yeah. Charlie, wake the fuck up. Oh, man. Chuck. Wow. Get the fuck up. Ah. Hey, come on, get up, fat boy. Ah. Ready? I'm ready, baby. Looking all fine and shit. got back from uh, from a little bike ride and uh, we're ready to have start episode nine. We're uh, we're almost through season one and we're excited that uh, we've made it this far into the ninth okay. episode. Okay. I apologize those of you that are downloading the iTunes uh, version uh, because I'm behind on that. So yeah. you saw you two guys. Yeah. Apologies. They'll yeah. be up shortly. Exactly. <laughs> those two guys that are stalking us from Indiana. They uh, they go gar fishing every after every episode. Uh, That's funny, dude. Like, I'm, my legs are jelly, dude. Really? I haven't ridden in like years. Yeah. And so and then we were going at an easy pace. I could you know. I was going as fast as I could. <laughs> I could go. I was going as fast as my fat body would oh, push. Oh my god! You know, a funny story. So I used to work with this guy. He used to go riding all the time, and this is when I was riding more regularly. Uh -huh. He's like you know uh, he used to work for me, but he would kind of like oh, you know, and I was in better shape back then. So he's sure. Like, he like, hey Frank, let's go ride. I want, I want to see how, how well you ride. I'm like, okay. So we went and started the Mispala mission. And we go to all the way downtown and stuff uh -huh. like that. And the whole time, I'm like, fuck, this guy is kicking my ass. Uh -huh. Like he was riding fast. Yeah. And I'm just trying to keep up. Yeah. And so we haul ass downtown, haul ass back, and I'm like, dad, I've never been that dead after a bike ride. So his name's Bobby. I'm like, Bobby, I'm like, man, you're fucking fast, bro. And he's like, dude, I was just trying to keep up with you. So the whole fucking time, we're like idiots yeah. racing against each other. Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. No. So, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Well, I was just uh, <laughs> trying to fucking... I was going as fast as I could, and I'd look up, and, you know, they're just... Yeah, there. Ernie's like fucking, yeah. like, like, nothing with exactly. swimming exactly. and shit. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so... It was fun. We'll put some footage yeah. on there. I got, I yeah. got the GoPro going, so... That sounds good. Sweet, man. Um, well, welcome to episode nine. We're, uh... We we've uh, we've we've made it this far. Uh, special shout out to Bike World for uh, doing an awesome job on repairing my Trek bicycle. Um, and, and although I have uh, bought bikes from different shops around town, mm -hmm. I typically take take my bike in for tune ups or repairs there. Right. <clears throat> and now that I live on the south side, there's a Bike World on the south side uh, for all the people that are uh, bikers here. Uh, in uh, Southeast Military Drive and uh, Roosevelt area. It's, it's pretty awesome. Real really, nice people in there. Great. Efren took care of me and uh, real sad, real happy. It felt like a new bike, you know, it was just great. turning beautifully. It was great. great. Um, but um, took care of you. Yeah, it was awesome. So, uh, you ready to weigh in? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. I had a shitty, I had a good week, but I had a couple shitty days. So. Well, okay, let's see let's where see. you're at and then we'll talk about Come it. Uh, I don't know what's up with my XL seven. Or the XL seven hundred is not talking. It's not saying. Do you can you read that thing or you're good? Yeah. Let's see. Two point 
252.6. Dude, I think that's 20. I think that's 20, you know what? bro. I think so. Holy that's shit, awesome. dude. So I did lose a little bit. Yeah, that's that's good, awesome. man. It's a surprise to me. Yeah, yeah. Tell, talk <laughs> about it. I'm fucking surprised. So, you know, I don't drink very much. I don't, I don't, uh, uh, alcohol, right? I drink a lot of alcohol. Besides the beer you're drinking yeah, right now? Yeah, six packs. Well, yeah. that's, that'll come back. Exactly. Six packs or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, eight before noon. Yeah, just, okay. yeah. So, um, my wife and I, you know, we work a lot, so we don't get to go out very often, but there's this thing in town called the San Antonio Cocktail Conference. Cool. Cool event. We work it for our business, and then we get a couple of tickets because we work the event. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a uh, Friday night at the San Antonio Hotel, like little swanky, free drinks all night, basically. It's samples, but you're getting full drinks. I don't know. I drank 15 drinks. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. And they're all sweet drinks. You know? That's good. And I'm Fifteen? Like, <laughs> nah, I don't know. Like I, that's. I like, honestly don't know. Because awesome. like you know, you start off with a few, and it's yeah, like yeah. you know, and I like to drink. I just don't because I yeah. know myself. So yeah. when I do drink, I overdo it. Sure. But I took a lift on stuff. I was hey, that's good. Right? That's good. So as soon as it hit my lip, the first one, I was like. I told my wife, I was like, yeah. I'm ready to fuck shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's on. It's on. And my wife is uh, you know, a lot smaller than I am, yeah. and she can only drink three, four drinks, and sure. she's done. So she would taste it, and she didn't like it, yeah. I would throw it back, too. So yeah. I'd have my, oh, I got so drunk. I haven't been that drunk in years. But That's awesome. I had a fun time. Yeah, we were exactly. safe. We, we, we got to sleep in a little bit. And, yeah. and then uh, yesterday, even though I, I still ate well, um, and I actually didn't eat, I only got to eat one meal yesterday, believe it or not, because of my schedule, but. Uh, I went to this place here on the south side called uh -huh. Mad Max Burgers. Have you uh, heard that place? Yes, I have been there. Have you yeah. been there? I've had, okay. I have been there, yes. So we went there. We had never been there before. And yeah. I got a, I didn't eat the bun, but I got a triple triple patty, yeah. egg, bacon, and cheese burger. Yeah. Keto friendly. Keto friendly. That's but cool. that was the only thing I ate all day. Yeah. So I still feel it in my, in my deep butt, but. Yeah. So it's good. I, hey, I'm 20 pounds, dude. Hey, that's awesome, dude. Fuck yeah, yeah, baby. Fuck yeah. Yeah. 20 All pounds. Right, 20, and then that ride today helped a little bit, sure. Yeah. That, that is an awesome accomplishment. Yeah, dude, in what, eight, nine weeks? In eight weeks. Right. Nine so, weeks. Yeah, right in. So yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, eight, eight weeks. Okay, so Whatever. Yeah, that's great. That's pretty good. That's fantastic. Hell yeah. And, and you know, and I took it a lot differently this time. Years years ago, or even a year ago, I would have just crash dieted, sure. lost 40 pounds, yes. like, ah, oh, fuck it, and then I would yeah, get yeah. right back into my old habits. Yeah, yeah. And I'm trying to do, my, like, pay, like, change our mentality. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it's just... Change the way I, I do things. Yeah, you know, I'm, that, that surprises me, but hell yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, we're gonna come back to that topic okay. in just a moment, okay. um, and uh, because this week's episode is on belief, okay. and so we'll talk about that more. And oh, I want to yeah. talk about what you're expand on what you're talking about. I'm gonna weigh in now. Let's do it. I need your help here. Yeah, look, I got you. My fat belly. You're looking good, though, Charlie. I can tell big time. Bro. I'm working on it. Well, we got this podcast. You should. We'll start watching. It's called Fat Talk. <laughs> Document. Moving a lot. Hold on. Uh, three eight two point four. Okay. So that's three pounds. Three eight two point four. Awesome. Yeah, because I was at three eighty five. So okay. three eighty two. Oh, yeah. So three eighty two. <laughs> so last week, last week I lost ten. Right. But I ate a lot of vegetable dinners. Um, this week. I got to say that, that it was more balanced, you know, it was, you know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, um, as veggie heavy okay. and I could tell, and I'm, and I, I thought I would be about even this week. Uh, but, um, but that's good. And, 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 yeah, and awesome. uh, you know, I, I don't know what, where I'm at in the show wise, but if I started at 525, I think the show you were at when we started, like four fifteen, I think. Four fifteen. I don't remember. But look it up. But dude, that's awesome. Let, let's so so then in total the the loss would be, was it three three you said three or three two three two is eighteen pounds, plus one twenty five is one forty four. Yeah, one forty four. Might hit one fifty yeah. next week. Yeah. Well, well, actually, yeah. well, actually, well, actually, so. So we have two. Uh, we have one episode left for season one, uh, but that'll come in a couple weeks. Next week we have a special show for you guys planned, and then um, and, and we'll still have our way in. Yeah. But but we will uh, uh, the season finale for season one will be in a couple weeks. So awesome. Um, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you. Yeah. That, that's segment one. We'll come back with segment two. We'll minute. show some footage of me fall off the bike and shit. Exactly. Fantastic. 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 Alright, we'll be back 
<laughs> All right, so uh, welcome back to, uh, to, to uh, Fat Talk episode 9. This week's tenet is uh, belief, right, or to believe. Mm -hmm. And and we said last week that, uh, you know what, did we start? We haven't started. Sorry. <laughs> I'm glad we got it there. There we go. Hey, we're back. And we're back. Thank you guys for tuning in this week. Thank you. Uh, this is episode 9 of Fat Talk season 1. Uh, this is Frank Collazo, I'm Chuck Hernandez, and uh, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, this week's tenet is on belief or to believe, right. and, and last week we kind of touched on that because the tenet was breathing, and, and you know, they're, they're intermingled because of, uh, you know, the, the natural, you know, intermingling of the two. Right, meditating was part sure. of it, breathing was part of it, and yeah. yeah. And, and, and so, and so... Uh, you know, I think that one of the things that has always kind of kept me, that I've had in the back of my mind, mm -hmm. not only to believe spiritually, but to put that stock in yourself, you know, um, you know, the idea of, of, you know, putting your faith in a higher power, right. whatever that power is, right, right. doesn't matter it's what, 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 what it, your right. philosophy is, right. what your belief system, but, right. but having some you know, faith of some sort, right? But also, in turn, putting faith in yourself, right? And and you know, the idea of making your luck and 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 that right. sort of thing, and pushing yourself, right. and 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 hopefully, the cosmos working in your favor. You know, yeah. Oh, I'm of, a one hundred percent believer in that. And we've had this story. I've told you a story about. Like I'm very lucky. I get to do what I want to do for my family. absolutely, absolutely. And it's not hard work. And I think sure. a lot of people don't fucking realize. When you do what you want to do, it takes a, a incredible amount of sacrifice. Sure. It takes an incredible amount of hard work. Yeah. And there's gonna be a lot of fucking roadblocks in your way. Yeah. And it's the person that perseveres over those roadblocks, falling down and getting back up. Yeah. Right? And you have to have that self belief. Yeah. You have to. There's because nobody is gonna help you more than you can help yourself. Nobody. Yeah. Because people can put their hand out. Yeah. But if you don't grab their hand to pull yourself back yeah. up, you're never gonna do it. So we've had this discussion. I won't go too much detail, sure. but. But I it wasn't. You, I until, want you to tell that story at some point. Well, Maybe in, 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 in a short. Well, I can make it short. Okay. So you know, it wasn't until I changed my philosophy about instead of just living the day to day, like you know, wait, we're just here. I started putting out into the universe what I wanted out of my life. Yeah. And you don't have to be like, well, I want to be rich. You know, like you know, you have to have something a that you want. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to have a goal. And you know, I used to, I've been in MMA for a long time, over twenty years, about twenty years, uh, as far as like training and stuff, and then. You know, 10 years ago or so, I, I decided I want to be in the UFC. And I know what capacity I just want to be in there. And that's where I think people get broken down by, they have a specific goal. You have to have a general goal. Sure. And you have to know, I want to get over there. I don't give a shit. Once I get there, I'll figure it out. But I just want to get over that, that hill. And so I started putting out in the universe that this is what I want to do. And I, you know, without going into my detail, I had to fucking beg, borrow, cheat still to get there. Sure. I had to sacrifice a lot. I had to take a lot of no's. I got told no a lot. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, so I went to a UFC in my 2009 or something like that. My wife had got me some tickets. And uh, in Houston, a big event. Went with some friends. I wasn't official yet. Just training. And five years, almost to the day, I was on the main stage inside the cage refing a uh, pay-per-view, a championship. Five, yeah. You know, like insane. Yeah. And I called my wife and I, was, I broke down. Yeah. I was crying to her, and she's like, "What's wrong?" And there's something wrong. I'm like, "No, I'm I'm tired, crying tears of joy because my vision, yeah, what I put out into the universe, yeah. my goals, they came to fucking life, mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. since then, I'm living proof of that. You put out what you want in the universe, you will get it, but it's not like it's handed to you. Sure, it's you have to fucking work for it, and just like my business, everything, like nothing's been handed to us. We have to bust your ass for it. Yeah, and I know you have your goals, and you've set your goals, and I. I think it, you have to believe that it's going to happen. Sure. And whether it's your weight loss, career, family, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you have to believe. You have to almost believe to the point of stupidity. You have to have this, this blind belief, faith, blind faith sure. in your, not in anything other than yourself that you'll get there. You know, and there's no clear path to success. It's a total forks and twists yeah. and turns and dirt roads. You just got to believe you'll get there. Yeah. Sorry, without my get off my soapbox now. Well, no, I think it's important to, to relate where you're coming from. Yeah. You know, that's important because I think everybody has some successes that they can that they can point to. Um, for whatever reason, 
I have not been successful at getting healthy right. in the past. Right. But you've had success. I've had success, but, but you I but I end goal you weren't I, successful. I, I, yeah, exactly. Right. Because because the thing is, and 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 I will say that years ago, the last time I had some success, at the beginning of that process, a friend of mine he said, Chuck, it's gonna take years. Right. And I'll never forget that. Right. He said it's gonna take years to get healthy. And that, I always had that in my it's mind. Of course. Yeah, hard, yeah, because I thought, damn, you know what? Okay, even if it takes years, that's fine. You know, I'll, I'll, you know I, I, I worked towards it and then I fell off. Right. But now my mentality is completely different because now I, I realize that it might take years. Right. It might take, you know, and my philosophy now is whatever time it takes, I don't care. It doesn't matter. There's no date set, right? But, but here's the thing. Right. And this is how it's different for me now is it doesn't take years to change my mindset. Absolutely. Right. That's the difference. That can change today. And right. it, exactly. Right. It, it changed for me months ago. Right. right. When, no, when, it's when obvious, dude. in the obvious. beginning, right. in the beginning it was okay, I know I need to make a change. Right. But that switch turned at, at some point in the last since between now and April, so right. seven months or so, whatever, I, I realized it's not it doesn't take years to change your mindset, right. and that's the difference. This right. time is, is you believe there what you're is, doing. yeah, and the, and 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 so now my goal is to become the best version of myself I can be, right? right? To become as healthy as I can be, right. and die trying, right? Not or die trying, right? And die because trying. we're all gonna die. <laughs> we're we're gonna all die, dead right. meat. Right. And we're all, you know, unfortunately, there's two people that actually will have everlasting life that we know. Right. But, uh, <laughs> no, no, there's, uh, everybody's going to die. Right. Last time I checked. Right. So we're all dead meat. So, right. Make the what do we have to yeah, lose? To if if lose. your right. goal is to do something, right, if your goal in the end game is to be somewhere, right. then then start now. Right. You got nothing to lose. At right. least yeah. mentally. Right. If you're not there physically in the right. real world, at least mentally, that's what I, right. that's the difference in my life you're now. Right. You're right. And right. so, whether it's breath work or going to church or doing uh, meditation, doing Tai Chi, mm -hmm. whatever it meditation. is, it doesn't matter. Right. Because it's all a part of the solution. Everything, everybody's influence, all the good influences, our friends on Facebook, our friends on Instagram, and we've our had a friends lot of on awesome Twitter. Support, man. It's been, yes, it's been yes, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? That is that is uh, the cultivation of this belief right. manifesting itself right. into success. Right. And and even and that's why, like, even though <clears throat> even though I've lost now one hundred and forty some odd pounds, mm -hmm. I feel like. You know, I'm still figuring it out. I'm right. still figuring still it out. At the beginning stages. You know, this is like just that. you know right. negotiating things and, right. and figuring stuff out. Right. And I'm having a great time doing it. And I'm real proud of you for losing that 20 pounds awesome. because that 20 pounds percentage wise is huge. Yeah, absolutely. But absolutely. you made the change mentally. Absolutely. And so you absolutely. you know this is this I, I I and I also want to thank you for you know he's very busy. We're all very oh, busy, yeah. but he but he's very busy. And and he makes the time to you well, know Charlie, to, to do this. We and, talked about this before. You're a good friend of mine. Love you. I love you too. And I I you are inspiring me. Thanks. Watching man. you Thanks. get get your shit. So out. we're on bikes, <laughs> keeping up with each other, basically. Exactly. That's yeah, but yeah. that's a good fucking thing. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're and not it's not like we're keeping each other for a race. This is us keeping each other honest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's it's me kind of. I'm you like it's like you're. I'm keeping you accountable. Yeah. And vice versa because yeah, you. Yeah. We talked about this a little bit. You sure, don't want to sure. disappoint. Yeah. You don't want me to think you're doing this. Yeah, I don't want to waste anybody's right. time. But right. but, but more than anything, right. it's it's just like, even if there's a gain, even if there's a plateau, even if there's a, a falling off, right. which, man, I, I, I and, and this is what's hard, is that I don't feel like I've done bad on meals or this right. or that or whatever. And I've come in where weeks, you know, right, I've right, gained it. That's, right. it, it's, right. it's hard. Right, it's hard. But, 
you know, I asked, I was swimming the other day at the gym, and I asked this, I saw this black guy walking around, and, and, and man, he was, physique was perfect. And I asked him, I said, I, I said, because I'll ask people, you know, the unashamedly, you know, and I, and I asked him, you know, what, what, you know, what's the secret, you know, what's, right. the, what's his, you know, angle. Right. And he says, uh, he says, I, I run every day, which, I mean, I get it. That makes sense. Yeah. And I said, well, what's your diet like? He says, my diet sucks. Mm-hmm. You know, he's, he was 5'8", 160, ripped. Right. And I thought, well, <laughs> but, but he said, but, but I made that commitment. Right. He said, I, I made a decision to eat clean. I made a decision to live like this. Right. He does triathlons. Oh, wow. I don't know. I, I don't know if that... That's never been my aspiration. Yeah. To okay. do that, but <laughs> dude, I can barely doggy paddle. So how am I gonna do the? You float really well, though. I float very well. So um, that's crazy. Yeah, my brother did like a, one of those half Ironmans. Dude, yeah. Ooh, Justin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he did. I, that's crazy. He's a good shape too. Uh-huh. Yeah. No thanks. Uh, well, you know, I, I I did commit to doing the the half marathon, the rock and roll marathon. What, here in San Antonio, year? yeah, this December. I'll do it. Okay, I've always yeah, to do it. We've got. I, I did it. I've done it once. You have. Okay, half, I know you did it. Okay. About mile nine, I. I <laughs> about mile nine, I started you looking around. Right, pick me yeah, up. Exactly. <laughs> All right, I'll be at uh, South Presa and yeah, and bring a donut. Oh, no, oh, actually, sweet. you know the thing That's is, hilarious. is is I I I, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> and and at the end, I was just waiting for somebody to <laughs> take me out of my misery. No, nah, I wasn't that bad, but. I know but, uh, I've I always wanted to. I've yeah, never done it. It, it's it's an interesting. Okay. It's an I mean, interesting and not thing. that I have desire to want to be a runner. I just, to me, it's just a goal I want to set. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I already committed to a few people online that I was going to do okay. it. I'll do it. So you. maybe we'll, maybe if anybody out there wants to join us, we'll have a little fat yeah. talk group. Hell yeah, that would be cool. We can carry each other. You know what? Through. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, y'all, pick up Chuck and take him across the line there. Oh, I'll get those, those, I'll get those people. wheelies that the kids get. Yes, that's perfect. Man, that guy's making good time. Oh, he's reeling across the thing. That's awesome. But uh, oh, yeah. so you know what uh, you know uh, we, we're we're thankful for you guys. Yes, uh, thank you. Those of you who give a shit to to right. tune in, right? And uh, and and and, and uh, if if we can help anybody, you right. know, we will. Right, and we definitely helped ourselves. We've proven it. Like we've we've made a we've made progress. We make, we're making progress, and that's the thing progress. is we've changed mentally. Right, we're making progress, and we're not going to stop until. We die, or we get to where our goals are. Right, so. right. And the Which goal we know we're gonna die. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. So we're gonna keep going. Exactly. And just believe in yourself. Yep. Believe to a fault. That's in right. Yourself. That's right. And can I just mention one thing? Yes, man. So there's a book. So I, 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 I had to get mentally to change my sure. thinking too. Yeah. Uh, and I like to read motivational things. You sure. know, not not Tony Robbins type stuff necessarily, uh, but Penthouse. Yeah, Penthouse. Uh-huh. Yeah, that book. That's what. Uh, yeah, and uh, Swank. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> my wife's gonna be like, Swank, what the fuck's that? Yeah. Uh, Junk book, right? <laughs> <laughs> You mean that one too? Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, just some old copies. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, no, anyway. I was retrieving in my shed or anything. So, there's a, there's a, a little book, and it's actually an online, uh, like an hour long episode. Uh-huh. It's called uh, The Last Lecture. Okay. Have you heard of that book? Never. By Randy Pausch. Um, so, he was a, he's a computer type guy. Uh, wrote a, uh, uh, he actually did a last lecture and wrote a book. Okay. Because he found out he was dying of cancer. Okay. Like stage, I don't know, he, like the whole body. Yeah. And in his last year or so, he did this lecture, and it's called The Last Lecture, where uh-huh. he talks about setting goals, believing in yourself, all that stuff. It's a great, it's a very short read, and it's only about an hour, 45 minute long. If you can watch it on YouTube on his uh, page, uh, he did pass away, but man, like, you want to talk about hitting the nail on the head when it comes to believing in yourself and putting yourself out there and believing that you know what i'm gonna do this tell everybody in the world and it'll come to fucking fruition mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it will if you just so randy Pausch, the last lecture either watch it or get the book it's, it's a great motivator so if you're looking for something to get you over that hump sure. of, of, of motivating yourself yeah i'll check it out it's a good one. check it out it's a good one all right well thank you buddy i appreciate you know, that. You know, that note uh is oprah in on that one also or i don't know if she's on that it's, it's you know what it's funny it's 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 very um leaning towards guys because it's about him and like his dad Okay. So a lot of women might not uh, be able to uh, really? relate to it because it's a it's but a it's, still... but it's it's very good. I mean, it, it's you're you're literally watching this guy give a last lecture because he's dying, and yeah, it's like talk it's about brutal. talk yeah. about. But it's in a good way because he's telling you, he, I'm dying, 
but I'm having I've had my best life. Yeah. And that's what that's you're gonna die. Yeah. So you can't control that. Yeah. So have your best fucking life, right? Yeah. 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 No, no, no. You're good. Have your fucking best life! <laughs> well thanks for tuning in everybody. Yeah, thank you. And uh, don't forget to follow us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And thank you and like and Awesome. Oh, I don't I don't know know all of them and yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, we appreciate it. You hear the music. Ah. <laughs> 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 My mom will like that one. Noodle me, baby. Noodle me. Hey. It's all right. Give it a roll. Oh, like, baby. Mm. Mm. I like that. Mm. Mm, that smells. <laughs> Get that out of my face. Uh, oh, that'll work. That'll that's good. That's good yeah. uh, Jerky. Uh. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> okay, sorry. sorry man. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got dizzy right. laughing. Hold on. All right. All right. Charlie. Uh. Charlie. Uh. Charlie. Uh. Do -do 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 -do. No. Oh, baby. It's really hard. Do it again. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying. All right. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Roll. Okay. Ready. No, nah, baby. I'll take the trash out in the morning, baby. Ah, oh, baby. Don't put... Oh, Don't look at me. Now look at me. Mm. Oh, baby. All night, baby. Oh, baby. Noodle me. Oh, gosh. Mm, I like that. Now, nah, turn around. Blow me a little kiss. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>